Hi, this is Alex Sigrist. Welcome to Pangeo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here is your news from the third week of October. First up, Cacao Ventures invests in U.S. prop tech company Market Stadium. Market Stadium, a U.S. prop tech startup, announced on October 12th that it had attracted a total of 1 billion won in seed round investment from Cacao Ventures, Shenan Capital, and Primer Saze Partners. Market Stadium is a prop tech startup operating in commercial real estate regional analysis, and it analyzes the real estate market across the United States and classifies future investment areas through urban planning based knowledge and spatial big data analysis. By using the data, Market Stadium can predict areas where gentrification will occur. Based on this, it helps users buy at the lowest price and sell at the highest price. Market Stadium's main customers will be investors who need to make a quick investment decision or cannot take time to visit multiple properties in person. The company expects that it will be a useful platform in movement restricted situations, such as currently with COVID-19. Next up, Smilegate begins development of emotional AI chatbot to add human charm. Smilegate AI Center announced on October 13th that it has signed a business agreement for joint research and development of emotional artificial intelligence avatar chatbots with artificial intelligence startups Humelo and Cleon. Smilegate AI Center, Humelo and Cleon are planning to jointly research artificial intelligence that can express various emotions and charm just like humans. The joint study will begin in full force with the goal of developing a special AI avatar service prototype that contains the unique sensibility and charm of humans within the year. The company will introduce Smilegate AI Center's avatar brain model, Humelo's avatar voice synthesis technology, and Cleon's deep human technology together, and these combined will introduce a special AI avatar chatbot service. Humelo is a startup with emotion-based personalized speech synthesis technology. It has developed and provided an AI speech synthesis solution on its own and has secured technology that can synthesize high quality speech even with only two minutes of sample speech. It has established a leading position with the technology that can produce voices that match human emotions by adjusting rhyme and pitch. Cleon is a startup that develops deep human and deep learning based image generation technology. Cleon is a startup that develops deep human and deep learning based image generation technology. It has a unique technology that can create an avatar with just one frontal photo. The avatar can be optimized by expressing facial features of a specific person more accurately with an adjustment device of 32 parameters. The avatar can be optimized by expressing facial features of a specific person more accurately with an adjustment device of 32 parameters. Next up, Naver invests 11.3 billion won in audio technology startup Guardio Lab D2SF, Naver's startup fostering organization, announced on October 14th that it had invested 11.3 billion won in AI metaverse audio tech startup Gaudio Lab. D2SF expects that this investment will strengthen strategic technical cooperation between Naver Video Platform and Gaudio Lab and accelerate Gaudio Lab's global growth. Gaudio Lab plans to take this investment as an opportunity to recruit key talent. Gaudio Lab has developed a technology that provides an immersive audio experience in various content environments, including spatial audio technology, the automatic 3D sound technology, according to the user's movement and device characteristics. Since its launch in 2015, D2SF has been interacting with Gaudio Lab and collaborating with the Naver video platform. D2SF has invested in 78 tech startups to date. For our final big story, NHN receives the highest level rating in excellent work innovation company. NHN announced on October 14th that it had received the SS rating among 42 excellent work innovation companies selected by the Ministry of Employment and Labor. Excellent work innovation companies are those that were selected by the Ministry of Employment and Labor on September 16th after undergoing an evaluation for reduced working hours, flexible working hours, annual leave, working methods, and working culture. Companies with excellent work innovation are divided into three grades, SS, S, and A, depending on their evaluation score. Excellent companies for telecommuting were also selected as companies that introduced a new working method in line with the digital economy after COVID-19. 
NHN received the SS rating and was selected as an excellent work innovation company and was also named as an excellent company to promote telecommuting. By being selected as an excellent work innovation company, NHN will enjoy various work innovation incentives such as various government support projects, military service replacement jobs, and loan interest benefits. NHN has built a smart work environment through its own cloud service, NHN Cloud, and collaboration platform, NHN Dure, to provide support for telecommuting of employees during COVID-19 times. NHN employees can freely adjust their working hours through the Purple Time System, a flexible working system, and work in a desired space every Wednesday with the Wednesday office. In addition, the developer company NHN Soft, formerly NHN Toast, introduced a hot desk system so that employees can work in any space they want in the office building any time they want. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. First up, DNX receives LBS's Innovative Digital Health Treatment Startup Award. The Kilo Health sponsored event Life Science Baltics 2021 Europe Conference was held from September 21st to the 23rd. In the event, TouchCare, developed by DNX, was selected among 30 startups from around the world, including Australia, UK, Europe, and Korea, to receive the Innovative Digital Health Treatment Startup Award. Next up, POSCO ICT helps medium sized companies to become carbon neutral. POSCO ITC will supply eco friendly, low carbon energy efficiency facilities to reduce greenhouse gases at the manufacturing sites of small and medium sized enterprises. POSCO ICT announced on October 13th that it will supply energy efficient systems and facilities to Asia Cement's Jechon plant and Simpac Industries' high priority ferro silicon manufacturing site. For our third quick story, Nexon unveils its new platform, Project MOD. Project MOD, the game platform with a new concept being developed by Nexon, is warming up for its release with a contest. Nexon announced on October 12th that it will hold a contest for content creation. Creators Invitational 2021, or CI 2021, on Project MOD, its new platform under development. And that's it for your Pangeo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.